for the city. The J John Lennon has such a great connection. It's like basically his true home, although he wasn't born here. But um, I feel like it's just one, like a legend. And it also represents so many things that New York still fights for. Kind of like peace, um, diversity, bringing people together and possibly leaving that perfect world that he envisioned. John Lennon was shot, and it, it also now is John Lennon is gone longer than he was alive, too, so that's pretty significant as well. And 40 is just a nice round, even number, and uh, generally each year on December 8th or in October for his birthday, I like to come here. It's just very peaceful. I love the music. I love hearing the music and seeing all the mementos. It's just a, it's just a wonderful feeling, a heartwarming feeling for me. Well, I actually like being here right now because reporting on the night, it was so traumatic and there was a real sense of loss. I mean, it was indescribable, people being hysterical and crying and really feel, feeling the pain, the loss of an icon. And to come back here, you get the sense that people are still celebrating John Lennon, that his spirit is very much alive. And, you know, I remember a few years ago I interviewed... Yoko Ono, and she was still speaking in the present tense about John Lennon, but she said his spirit is alive. You can't kill a person that easily, and I think that's very true.